Tanya with Jay on Night Train Radio. Um, by myself tonight, man. There's no Lenny. Uh, the dude's got COVID and will die within the next 16 hours. So we wish him all the best. However, the show must go on. What's going on, everybody? Uh, it's a lovely Tuesday night. It's nice and uh, nice and mild. Not too hot, not too cold. Just right from Kellogg's. I, uh, I wanted to have a chat with everybody about about something that has happened with the show that that has sort of pissed me off a little bit. Now, we had a guest lined up for this week. Uh, we had a very big guest, our first guest for the year, first guest for a long fucking time. Um, a big guy in the, in the metal scene. I, I can't really, I'm not going to name anybody at the moment, but we had a guest lined up who, who is, a, is a big deal in the metal scene, has a big band uh, in Australia, tours the world, um has many fucking albums is a is a genuinely beautiful dude just a lovely lovely human um and he was going to come on our show to talk about uh the fact that he doesn't agree entirely with what's going on in in Victoria specifically but also in our country in Australia and regardless of the views I'm not here to talk about uh uh uh, fuck whatever views I have with lockdown and COVID and all that stuff. That's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the fact that this guy who uh, is a friend of ours, he's been on the show before. Um, like I said before, genuinely lovely bloke. Like he's just a, he's a really decent human and he, and you get what you get with him. There's no bullshit. There's no beating around the bush. He's just a genuine human being who, is in it for the fucking music, in it for the love, loves people, man, likes to hang out, likes to just chill. He, he's a good, good dude. So it upsets me when he rings me and says, man, I can't do your show at the moment because I'm worried that my band and and my family won't be able to, to make any money because we'll lose deals, we'll lose sponsorships, we'll lose uh, touring opportunities, all because... I don't agree with the uh, mainstream narrative. Now, that sucks. Not because I wanted this guy on my show. I love this guy. He's a good dude, like I keep saying. He's a fucking great dude. And I'd love to talk to him whenever. But what pisses me off is the fact that this guy, or any, any guy, any woman, any man in this world, in this country at the moment, can't speak freely uh, unless... You are speaking for the uh, for the mainstream. It's crazy. Um, we used to have a bit of pride of, of being the underdog in this country, of being the uh, about going against the grain. That was what Australia was about, and now we are so willing to conform. We are so complacent with this weird weirdly powerful government that we have at the moment um that that we that we aren't willing to listen to the other side of the argument now there are people on both sides of that spectrum where you got some who are for all the restrictions and the lockdown and the vaccines and whatever else who aren't willing to listen to the other argument and you got people on the other side who who are against the lockdowns and against the uh, the vaccines and and everything else who who aren't willing to listen to that other side. Now that's ridiculous. Th- that's so unhealthy. You're not going to progress unless we communicate, and you can't communicate if you stifle people. Not allowing someone to speak. Um, is so dangerous. It's so dangerous. That, that this has happened previously. It can happen again. But at the moment, we are so just comfortable with what uh, this country has become, with, with, with what it is maybe. I don't know. It's uh, But a lot of people can see a change. A lot can't. And the point is, Neither side seemed to be trying to meet in the middle to to figure out what it could be. Uh, 
Now, this guy wanted to come on the show to talk about that. That was it. He wanted to talk about essentially why people can't talk about it, why people are being uh, cancelled, in quotes, losing their jobs, losing their livelihood. But he can't at the moment, all because he's worried that is exactly what will happen to him. And that is so scary. It's so unfortunate we are at this point in this country that we are willing to take away a man's livelihood all because he doesn't agree with you. That's fucked. It really is. Nobody agrees with me. None of my friends agree with me, but I'm still with their friend. They're still my friends. I don't get this mentality of, you don't agree with me, get away from me. I don't get that. I mean, you're not going to learn unless you listen. And they're not going to learn unless they listen. It, it, it's a two-way street, man. You, you've got to, it's got to go both ways. It can't just be information shoved down somebody's throat and then just accepted. If there's a rebuttal, listen to that rebuttal. If it sounds like bullshit, it's fucking bullshit. If it doesn't, take it on board. Or don't. Who gives a shit? Let the person speak. That's all it is. If you don't agree, <sighs> so what? It's not going to kill you. If you do agree, yay. Who gives a fuck? It doesn't matter either way. It really doesn't. Just listen. Just listen to the conversation. That's all we need to do. Communication is key. We've lost that so much at the moment. It's so dangerous. The willingness, the willingness to stifle others at the moment, it really upsets me. I mean, this country has a really dark history with silencing people and with keeping people quiet and with keeping people down, with keeping people in the shadows. As do many Western countries. So it's weird that citizens of these countries don't remember what's happened in the past and can't fathom that it can happen again. Happened again, good England fuckhead. But the point is, we should be able to speak freely without fear of losing our livelihood. Everybody should be able to, regardless of the message that you are trying to convey. You could be the most homophobic, racist piece of shit on this fucking planet. But you should still be able to say what you believe. I can think you're a fuckhead. I can call you a fuckhead because I believe you're a fuckhead. But I believe that you have the right to say this shit that makes you look like a fuckhead. Because it doesn't affect me at all. If I don't agree with you, that's just it. You can change my mind or I'm not going to agree. And if I don't agree, I don't agree. That's just it. There's no qualms with that. It's fucking crazy that people are so, so keen. So keen to lose friends, to lose family members, to... Just get rid of people all because they don't agree. That's fucking weird. Anyway. It's fucking weird. You're all fucking weird and I'm out of here. Take it easy. Have a good night. I'll see you next week. Have fun. And smell the flowers for a change.